this is one complaint I have about the entry level products from DPMS. And that is this adjustable stock. I cannot stand this thing. Now, keep in mind, this is just my opinion, and everybody is entitled to their own opinion. If you really like this adjustable stock, then more power to you. Go with it. Don't let anybody else uh, ruin how you feel towards the stock. But I can't stand this thing. I think the design itself is extremely ugly, and it looks crappy on any AR-15 you put it on. Um, and I get that they were trying to be a little bit different. The AR-15 world, there's a lot of AR-15 manufacturers out there, so you got to do something to make yourself stand out somehow. So I get it, I understand it, and I can't fault them for that. But uh, this thing is just downright ugly. Um, it looks like what they did is they took this stock right here, the car stock, and tried to make it more sleek and futuristic somehow and in my opinion it just didn't work out now I love these I love the old retro car style stocks I like the M4 style as well not as much as a car style that's just me uh, these things if I ever get a rifle with one of these on with one of these stocks on the first thing that's going is that stock I hate the oversized handle right here I don't think that's needed I like a standard handle, that's just me. I don't think you have to have a super oversized handle, but everybody is different. One of the reasons I don't like this oversized handle is when I shoot from the prone sometimes with an AR-15, I like to put my support hand down and support the stock. Well, on something like this, if I do it, you can see I'm pushing up on this handle. Well, that's going to cause this to slam forward as soon as I fire the rifle. And that's just not going to be... A productive experience in my opinion now the contour of this stock right back here this contour I get what DPMS was trying to do they were trying to make some type of contour where um, when you mount this onto your shoulder you can get a consistent shoulder where shoulder weld every time um, you can put it in the same spot but I think the design is counterproductive the fact that it rakes out more on the bottom here I think it's a little bit counterproductive to a good uh, shoulder mount in regards to an AR-15. M4 styles, you'll see the slant is actually different. There's more of a slant this way versus this way like this stock. And that's a little bit better for pivoting the gun from a low ready onto your shoulder in my opinion. And then you have like these that just have the flat, the nice flat uh, design on the back, the simple flat design which I think is great for pivoting from low ready on your shoulder and staying real consistent. I'm not as consistent with this, and that's just me. Now the one thing, I do kind of like the gripping back here. I think that's a neat idea, but I think the overall contour is a little bit messed up. But again, that's just me, and uh, take it as you will. That's probably my one main gripe against DPMS. I don't have any other issues with the rifles. They make good stuff. I just think the stocks... They would probably be better off just uh, throwing regular stocks on there, honestly. The same with their glacier guards. Their hand guards here. Standard M4 profile, nothing wrong with it, but then they get all these weird ribbings inside. That's a lot of polymer. It seems to add a little bit of bulk to the hand guard, and I can't help wonder why they went with this when you could just get an M4 profile hand guard with a double heat shield on the upper and lower, and you've got all the heat protection you're ever going to need for an M4. So anyway, just my thoughts, my one little complaint uh, about DPMS. And uh, it's just my opinion. So opinions vary. If you like this uh, setup, these stocks, then please stick with it. Don't let anybody else tell you different. If you like it, then you like it. Run with it. So all right, thanks a lot for watching.